Hey guys, Stan here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you what I personally believe is the best action camera setup with audio for your helmet. If you're new to the channel, let me preface this video by saying that most of the content that I upload here is motorcycle related. I made a little video way back when with a little bit of a comedic twist showing you guys how I mounted my GoPro on my helmet, but that was years ago and a lot has changed since then. So I think it's time for a little bit of an update. I've always been a fan of mounting my GoPro on the chin of my helmets. Number one, it looks the best. Number two, it's the most aerodynamic placement. Um, instead of, you know, putting it on the side of your helmet or on top of your helmet, there's a lot of wind drag if you do that. And lastly, it also produces the best angle. This is why I use chin mounts. If you haven't heard about chin mounts, it's a company that focuses directly at us riders who love to record while we're out on the road. I've been using chin mounts since the company first started up. Back then, they only had about three or four helmet mounts, but now they're at over 90 plus specific helmet mounts and still growing. Included in every chin mount packaging, there's a helmet specific mount, an alcohol wipe, and a free safety tether. I love that chin mounts included this since every track day I have ever gone to requires your GoPro to be tethered. Every chin mount is 3D printed and uses 3M adhesive to stick to your helmet. Here with me, I have six different helmets with their own designated chin mounts. This is one of my personal helmets. This is a Shoei X14 using a chin mount with a GoPro Hero 7 Black and a low profile attachment mount. But maybe you're not a sport bike guy and you don't have these kind of helmets. Maybe you have a modular helmet like this. Or maybe you have an adventure helmet like this. Or maybe you have a helmet that looks like this where the visor blocks the entire chin. Well, here's what chin mounts made. This HJC R490S is a modular helmet that has a chin bar mechanism underneath the chin. Even with the chin mount installed, you still retain full access to the tab. This Scorpion XO AT950 adventure style helmet also known as the ADX-1 in Europe, has a lot going on over here. So the mount was specifically designed to allow the vent to still open and close without intrusion. And lastly, this Icon Airflight is definitely a unique case. The chin is under the visor, so here's the solution. A couple of tabs built in the chin mounts to line up in the bottom two holes and simply press it on. So now let's take the Simpson and Sedici helmet, put a mount on it, and I'll show you how I attach my GoPro and record my audio. Right away on the Sedici Strata 2, you can see that there's that V shape. So if you look at the chin mount, you can see that V shape as well, if it would just focus. So before you attach the chin mounts, make sure you use the included alcohol wipes to clean and rub down the surface areas of these helmets where you're gonna be attaching the chin mount to. Really important step because our fingers are oily and I probably got some oil on the chin of these helmets as well. So I wanna make sure it's clean so that the adhesive sticks a lot better. So I'm just gonna open up this alcohol wipe here. So now that we have the surface area clean on both helmets, it's time to pull out the gun. First thing you do, take off the red film. Now I like to heat up the adhesive. Line it up with the V, nice and centered, and press down. And there you go. Not too bad. Don't see any gaps there, so yeah, I'd say that's a successful install. So now, let's do the Simpson. Once you have the mount on, wait a minimum of 24 hours as the adhesive needs time to cure and bond with the surface of your helmet. Don't attach your action camera or ride in the helmet until a minimum of 24 hours have gone by. Seriously guys, just wait a day. Your GoPro was expensive and it's important to follow the installation instructions when using any product. Once you've patiently waited, you can now attach your action camera. Whether that be a GoPro or an Insta360, it's all compatible. Now, if you don't have any attachments laying around, Chin Mounts also does sell many different options you can purchase alongside with your Chin Mount. The Action Pack is definitely what I would recommend for any of you guys starting out and who don't have any mounts laying around. It's the best value for the money and it's great if you have multiple helmets and don't want to go through the hassle of constantly swapping your attachments around. Rubber locking plugs and extra safety tethers are also available separately if you need them. You can purchase them individually or in a pack of five. If you're like me, the five packs are perfect since I tend to misplace and lose small items like this pretty easily. By the way, if any of this stuff interests you and you're thinking about buying a chin mount for your helmet, 
Now is the perfect time. They have a Black Friday sale going on from November 20th to December 1st, 2021. All chin mounts are 20% off, but you can also get an additional 10% off using my code STAN10. I personally think this would make a great Christmas present for your motorcycle crew or your motorcycle family. Get them a chin mount and uh, they're gonna have to buy their own GoPro or action camera still, but hey, they got the mount. And also shipping is free in the US for orders over $20. So pretty much you buy a mount, you're guaranteed free shipping if you're in the US, but they also do ship worldwide. And if for some reason you're watching this after the sale has already ended, well, that's okay. You can still use my code STAN10 to get 10% off and that's gonna be all year long. All right, both helmets equipped with a chin mount now, the Sedishi Strata 2 and the Simpson. Now let's talk about angles. Typically on a Simpson helmet like this, you'll be riding a cruiser and maybe with a Sedishi Strata 2, you're riding more of like a sport bike, maybe crotch rocket, maybe an upright sport bike. But with a Simpson helmet like this, you're most likely riding a cruiser. So that means your seating position, you're very upright and you're not hunched over. So your helmet is probably gonna be sitting like this. If you look at the angle of this, this uh, mount right here, it's perfect. This is probably a great angle to get the cockpit of your motorcycle and still get a lot of the detail that's in front of you. On the other hand, you have the Sedishi Strata 2 here. So now let's imagine you're on a sport bike and you're leaning over, you're hunched forward. This is kind of the angle that you're gonna be at. And this GoPro is gonna be capturing nothing but maybe your handlebars and your gauge cluster, that's it. So in order to gain a little bit more flexibility with the angle, we wanna add on a short arm extender. In this case, we're attaching it to a low profile mount. And now, as you can see, we have a ton more room for adjustability. Now, all you have to do is find the right angle based on what you like. This piece is also included in the action pack, by the way, which is why I really advocate you guys go buy it. While we're at it, if you have a GoPro Hero 5 to 7 or a GoPro Hero 9 to 10, then make sure you pick up these top opening cases from chin mounts as well. It's a really great case if you don't have the media mod but still want to run a mic for your motovlog setup and it also makes it so much easier to take out the GoPro and swap batteries. So yeah, just like that, we have a nice angle showing a clear and wide image of what's ahead of us while showing off the cockpit of your motorcycle. Now, for the audio. If you've seen my videos before, then you already know that not only do I pick up audio from my voice, but I also get audio from the people I connect to on my Senna intercom. You bouncing on that thing? I tell you that you can bounce on my bike. No, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Here's how I do it. Have an intercom system, I'd recommend Senna. Now what you're gonna need is an action camera. For this example, I'll be using my GoPro 7 Hero Black. Now what I do is I plug in the GoPro mic adapter. From here, I plug in a splitter. Now I'll have two female jacks like this. One end of the jack is going to have a mic that goes in front of my mouth. And the other end of the jack is going to have another mic that goes on top of the intercom speaker. So what I like to do is I place it on top like this, I line up the wires, and then I'll just use some speaker foam that goes on top of here to hold it together. Alternatively, you can also use some tape. This mic that I'm using here specifically is from Senna. The thing is they don't sell this separately anymore, so you're gonna have to inquire about it, and I don't even know if you'll be able to get it. But alternatively, you can also just use a regular mic and then tear down the speaker head and just use the internals and put it on top of your speaker like this. Same idea use some speaker foam, use some tape to hold it together. But yeah, that's pretty much how I have all the cables running through my helmet. Like I said, it's going to vary from helmet to helmet how you choose to manage the cables, but more or less, this setup will work with every single helmet out there. One more thing you may have noticed is this behemoth of a brick. This is GoPro's proprietary adapter for plugging in microphones, and there's no way in hell this is fitting in your helmet. So what does that leave us with? Well, now we gotta improvise. What I found most people doing is they take their helmet and they'll put some Velcro on the side of it over here. I personally think that's really, really ugly. And they even use like gaffer tape. I think that's like atrocious on a helmet. So let's not do that. So the solution that I found was this. This product right here is called Dual Lock and it's made by 3M. If you look closely to see what this is, you can see a bunch of little stems with mushroom tips. Those stems and tips allow it to mate to itself. If I folded this over like this, you'll hear a bunch of clicking. That's what it sounds like when it's mating and locking to each other. And as you can see now, it's nice and flat. Very low profile, that's why I love it. So what I did was I put some on the back here, and then I cut out a piece that I can stick this on, on my helmet. Now, here's the cool part. If you look at the chin mount here, you can see that I've shaped it to the chin mount itself. So now, what I can just do here is put the adapter onto the chin mount, just like that. And now it sticks. 
I know it's still a little bit ugly in its own right, but at least it's not like, you know, on the helmet like this. I personally think this like looks a lot uglier, but then again, it's still personal preference at the end of the day. Once it's all said and done, this is essentially what the setup looks like. Nice and sleek. GoPro adapter here, got it plugged into my splitter, and then the adapter plugs into the GoPro. Whatever mic you choose is up to you, whatever your budget is, but make sure or try to make sure that it's a TRS mic. TRS means that the jack will have a tip, ring, and sleeve. Other mics might have a tip, ring, ring, sleeve, also known as a TRRS, or some don't have a ring at all. So for example, if you had a TRRS mic that you wanna use for a GoPro, then buy a TRRS to TRS adapter. And just like that, you have a setup that can pick up two different audio sources. And there you go. Now you're ready to hit the streets knowing that you have the best setup on your helmet. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments below. If you have any more questions as well, feel free to ask me. If you're interested in seeing more of my future uploads, then please do consider subscribing. I would appreciate it big time. And yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.